So, Mr. Mayor, were you surprised from the results from election night, and what do you think the voters were saying last Tuesday? Well, uh, I was a little bit surprised. I'm not surprised in a runoff. Uh, I think that was fairly likely. Um, well, I think uh, they're saying we want another shot at this because they didn't uh, support anybody by 50 percent. And, uh, you know, that's the way that's the way this works. You know, in uh, this is history making. You've you you've never done it. No, <laughs> uh, I guess back in the '60s they had some. I've just come to learn. But you know, it uh, doesn't matter how you get in the finals. Uh, wild card teams win the win the World Series or the Super Bowl. Uh, I'm happy to to be able to engage again with uh, with our citizens and. Uh, and show the contrast between uh, my opponent and me. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about that. We'll get to the, the forum and the debate that was held uh, earlier uh, this past week. But uh, you said on Monday you would recommend to council to an immediate reset on the library issue. Right. Explain that. Well, the voters spoke clearly. Uh, we, uh, we won't be taking that uh, version to the voters. And I think that's important to recognize. Uh, there's humility to that, and I think that's important. But it's a great project and it's an important one. And I think uh, we're going to uh, reset and, uh, and re-engage and, and go out to the people and uh, make sure that we get it right. Did you think you were going to get so much pushback on that? Well, by the time we got here, frankly, yes. Uh, you know, I, uh, I love the project. I love the, the, the project that we had. But what I've come to understand is people really do want a main library. Three to 4,000 people every day visit our main library. We've done four branches. We need the mothership uh, and we'll get it right. Uh, oftentimes in, in, in uh, my job and what I've done, uh, you go out once, uh, you come back and you do it again. And there's dozens of examples of that. In fact, our branch libraries, we didn't pass a bond the first time. We got 57%. We knew that they wanted, we went back out and we got those done another way. And this is another example of how we can do that. There's some humility involved, and you'd be Absolutely. the first one to admit to it. And I thought this was interesting at the forum. You said they, meaning the, 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 the folks in Boise, want in on this project. God bless you. Now you're engaged. You weren't before. Why weren't they before? Well, we had 30 outreach efforts. We had open houses and, and design uh, charrettes and design uh, workshops uh, across a broad spectrum of people. And I don't know why, uh, but they now they're engaged. Uh, and so we'll go do more. We'll go do it again, uh, and we'll engage them from the beginning. And, and I think that- And you'll say we'll there. get it right. That's what you said. Oh, you bet. I, it, it's, a, it's such an important project. Uh, and I think there's, there's broad acceptance of that. The one that, that we have won't be going to the voters. Uh, we'll, we'll go and retool and, uh, and bring another one. Your opponent, Council President Lauren McLean, uh, referenced the library proposal as a legacy project for you, and you were quick to respond to that. Well, actually, she called the, uh, the sports park a legacy project. Regardless, I, I, that is the, my daughter is my legacy. Our children are our legacies. That is humbling and great in itself. Uh, but that's, uh, those aren't words that I would ever use, and I, uh, I took offense to them, and I still do. I, uh, we, we, I want to do as much as I can good for the city of Boise, for my daughter and her children, for our existing citizens, but most of all for the future. Yeah. And that, that implies that it's just for me, that it's to put my name on it. And I, I don't care at all about that. Uh, I don't read plaques when I go into public buildings and I don't expect people to care about that. What they recognize is we have a great city here with the things that we love, and that's what I want to continue to work it on. It seemed people perceive those two projects tied together, but that's really not fair when you were... No, it really is. One it really is. Separate. It's very different, and uh, I like them both, but I mean, libraries are what we do fundamentally. And uh, yeah, w regardless of, uh, of how, uh, if she's going to uh, uh, characterize either one of those with that, it's, uh, it's not what I'm about, and I was more than happy to respond to that. Well, let's just talk a little bit about the differences between you and your yeah. and opponent. Uh, in a, a, a press uh, release uh, that came out uh, shortly after the forum, you said the debate was the first time um, your opponent, uh, Council President McLean, has ever had to answer 
into her own record and choices as a public leader that might have been uncomfortable for you. You went on to state that she should hold herself to the same standards as the mayor. What exactly did you mean by that? Well, exactly. I, I did seven debates, Don, uh, in the course of, that, uh, of the first round. Uh, six candidates really all, uh, all uh, piling on against me. I, but I, I went to every one of those because I think it's important for people to hear where we stand on the issues. And we've had six requests, I think, for debate. Uh, we did one on Tuesday, and now she's saying she won't do a single other one. Uh, and that's wrong, and I think uh, people understand that. Uh, because, you know, with seven candidates, uh, the views of any one candidate, especially when you're an incumbent at, at six or challenging, uh, is a real different thing than one-on-one, than, -on -one, than uh, you know, stark contrast about what do you believe, what do I believe. I think our voters are entitled to that, and she doesn't want to do that, and I think that alone is a big difference. Again, I did seven. Uh, we should have several. The dynamics of this race, obviously, uh, sure. are very interesting. You sit next to her at council meetings. Yeah. Uh, you appointed her in, I think it was 2011, a vacated seat by the, uh, Vern Besterfeld, who had left, and you appointed Lauren McLean to that seat when right. Vern Besterfeld left. Do you regret appointing <laughs> her to Vern's seat? <laughs> uh, well, I don't, Don. Uh, we had a conversation then. She said, I'll never run against you while you're the mayor. Uh, and uh, she never even came to talk to me about it. Uh, she never had the courtesy or the guts to come and talk to me about the statement that she said, oh, I, won't, I won't run against you. Uh, I don't, it isn't the running against me that, uh, that is a problem. Democracy is a great thing. But if you don't have the courtesy or the guts to come and have that conversation, I don't know that you're ready to make the decisions that go into being the mayor and there's a lot of tough decisions that come your way. So what changed in your view? Why did she decide uh, to rise? I have no idea. You'd have to, I'm not going to speculate. She, uh, you're going to have to ask her. Uh, I do think uh, it does that, just even that part illustrates, uh, you know, th there are tough decisions that you need to make. I think one of the most important contrasts with us uh, is the issue. We have done so much for our homeless people in the city of Boise. We have worked hard. Uh, we have more housing. We have more programs but we can't allow camps in our city. I think that is what separates us from Seattle or Portland or San Francisco. And she has said that we should not cite people for camping in public property. She's been very clear about that and that is the contrast that we wanna talk about. I think our citizens have a right to, to hear that view because they don't know where she stands because uh, you know, in the previous debates there were seven of us uh, in, in her previous service, people don't, uh, don't understand what, she's, what she stands for. Well, is it fair to say in heart of hearts, she wants the best thing for Boise, and people are look at what's the best route, what's the best path to go down. What's the one difference between you and your opponent? Well, when that, it comes to the future That's Boise. the biggest one. I, I am prepared, and I have a record of making tough decisions for the long-term best interest of the city. You think it's the homeless issue? Uh, I think that is one, it illustrates I had to give the order to take the camp down. We had 120 people camping uh, in what's uh, right away called mm -hmm. Cooper Court. Mm -hmm. Toughest decision I've ever made. I've lost friends because of it. I lost a lot of sleep because of it. But it was the right thing to do, and it's shown to be the right thing to do. And she has said very clearly that she would never do that, that we shouldn't uh, cite people for camping on public property. And that is the, the, the biggest difference uh, and a difference that we need to talk about. But it, it illustrates the tougher one. That's a tough decision. Uh, it's the toughest issue that we deal with. But we are in a better place than almost any city I know. We're providing uh, housing for uh, homeless people. We have a veterans uh, ha uh, homeless development that, that we're gonna dedicate in a couple months. We're focusing on, on, on family homelessness and doing all these things. But in the same time, you can't have camps or it undermines everything you're trying to do. And it gives people, uh, I think people are less empathetic when they see those camps. People prey on the homeless. It's the opposite of compassion. But nevertheless, what it illustrates is that's a tough decision that and I had to make. And we'll see how and She's been very clear that she would not make that decision. You have plenty of support in this community. You have for a long time. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people now that will have to go back to the polls right. and decide whether they voted for you the first time right. Right. or Lauren McLean. The, 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 on the other side, or right. the other candidates. Right. I don't want to discard. There were other candidates. Absolutely. In this race. Um, 
How do you answer someone say, well, you know, I, I, like, I like Dave Beter, but maybe it's time for him to step aside and let somebody else try it? Well, uh, I think that's really the worst argument. Uh, you know, if you have an accountant, do you say, you've been a great accountant for 20 years. You, you've experienced and you've done a great job. But I want somebody that's never done accounting before. I want the newest person who's never done this. That's not what we say in anything else. You know, uh, do you say, I want the nurse. Uh, that's just out of school and has never done any nursing to, to be my nurse. Of course you want experience, you want people that have done that. And I know we it's don't the have same it, but it parallels this. the argument should yeah. we have term limits. Something oh, we have them. You know? if, if, you don't want, if you don't want a person I know. to vote for, somebody else, vote for somebody else, we always have had that. Uh, I, I think that's a, uh, that's a false argument. My opponent wasn't for term limits when she was a council member. <laughs> now she's talking about it. As mayor, uh, I think we should limit her term to none uh, and not have her voted in at all. For a lot of people who don't remember way back when, when you first ran, I remember we did uh, the, de the debate out at a church out on uh, Eustick, out in West Boise, when you first ran. You bet. A lot of people don't know what you were doing before you ran for you mayor. <laughs> well, I was in the state legislature right? uh, and I was practicing law. Uh, unfortunately, my parents were killed in a car wreck and my father was in the legislature at the time. And uh, I was appointed to succeed him, and that's how I got into politics, which is the worst, worst way. But, uh, you know, then uh, opportunities came up. I found that I, I really enjoyed public service and thought I had something to offer. And uh, we were in a tough spot. You know, we had a scandal. We had a, mm -hmm. uh, a mayor that resigned, and I, uh, I, I felt uh, I have deep roots in the, in the city. My, my mother was born in Boise. Uh, my uh, grandparents were Basque immigrants. And I felt that I had something to offer, uh, and uh, thankfully the citizens agreed. What, what was similar, I mean, after we got confidence back in City Hall and, you know, restored people's faith, we had, a, we had an, uh, a time of growth then that people forget about now, even more intense than we have now, and we were able to handle it uh, and control growth and push it in a way that served us well. Then we handled the downturn where there was no growth at all, and Boise came out of that even better. Uh, but I'm the one that knows how to handle uh, intense growth times and grow in a way that serves us all. We did so well, even more people want to come here, uh, but I'm the one that can handle that and I'm anxious to do that. Well, I know you're confident on round two sure. for the runoff, but do you have a plan B? Oh you gosh, no, I, you know, I... Uh, uh, you haven't thought about it just a little bit. Oh, uh, you know, it, uh, now we've, we've got three weeks here. Okay. And, uh, and that's a very engaging, busy time, uh, and uh, I'm real hopeful. And I, you know, people are contacting me all the time uh, and uh, are ready for this next round. It's a very different election. It's a very different dynamic. You know, seven candidates is a really full thing, uh, and now there's just two. And uh, I really hope that she'll debate. I hope she'll reconsider that. I think that's not a good idea. It's not what I did, because uh, I think our citizens deserve this choice, deserved it to find out about it, and uh, I'm anxious to engage that. We had a, we had a good first round. Yeah. We had a good first debate. I think any, anybody that was there, All good and candidate. it was packed. Yeah, and some interesting candidates. It was it was standing room only. You know, us two though. This last week. Oh, at the forum. You know, yeah. just uh, just us two. I mean, people came in droves. They want to ask questions, and, and all those questions at that forum were from uh, the, the, the crowd. Do you uh, think she has the momentum? It's your job and your team's job to stop that momentum. Well, I don't believe she, she does now because you don't believe she, does. she won't debate, she won't engage. And that, I think, is a really important piece. Uh, she talked about, uh, you know, she's a transparent candidate and you won't come and talk about that? What don't you want to talk about? You know, what are you hiding? What are you afraid of? Because again, I've already had seven and I'm ready to do, we've had five or six requests. I hope Channel 6 will do one and we'll come here, uh, she and I, and we'll, and we'll engage with you, Don, because you know what's going on in this valley. And <laughs> we'll bring her in and we'll maybe we'll invite you back and we can. Well, have us both, you know, have us both. I think that's important. Well, we wish you the best of luck, and uh, yeah. the Basques would say a, a good fight is, and I, I put you on the spot <laughs> earlier, but your Basque is pretty good, so a good yeah. fight would be what? Uh, Borroca Ona, 
That's a good fight. Uh, you also said a fight between friends, Laguna and Borroca, uh, and that's what it is. Uh, we're, uh, we're having a, 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 friendly, a friendly discussion, a friendly argument. There you go. Mayor Dave Vader, thanks so much uh, for uh, coming into the studios. And thank you, John. Best of luck. Thanks for having me.